good evening children welcome to aksharana classes this is your first class your physics faculty let's start our session in the last class we completed about the uh, magnetism concept uh, we have discussed about all the topics related to magnetism up to your level so today we'll do some questions related to the problem question related to the magnetism understand so i'll start the session i'll give the questions please uh, take this <clears throat> this is the first thing here yeah, these are the questions i'm giving to you so look at here these questions uh, first question is chemically neutral natural magnetics so they are asking that chemical formula for nat natural magnetism so the chemical formula for natural magnetism is uh, fe3o4 so that is called magnetite understand magnetite this is a chemical name for the magnetite and next question is deposits of magnetic oxide iron ore is called okay deposit of uh, magnetic oxide on iron ore is known as a magnesia so that uh, this is the first option so this is already we have in the uh, synopsis the first natural magnet is what is the first magnetic it is nothing but lodestone lodestone is a first magnetic magnetic material so the option a is correct and next uh, gas can be used to uh, used to find the direction of the magnetic field at a place and also test the polarity of the magnet is so here the question is what gas can be used to find the direction of the magnetic field uh, at a place and also test the polarity of the magnet is so simply a uh, magnetic compass so simply the magnetic compass will give the direction of the magnetic material magnetic field as well as uh, as well as uh, it will test the polarity polarity means uh, representing the uh, finding the north pole and south pole actually polarity means uh, having the poles determine uh, having the poles is nothing but having the polarity understand so to find that uh, poles we will generally we use compass needle so that uh, the first option is right and next uh, <coughs> next thing is this is your next so this is a your next slide so what is this next slide see here i hope it is appearing to you so the next slide is magnet was discovered by simple question they have given magnet was discovered by the person they are asking the person name simply magnus magnus magnet is discovered by magnus so that is the reason the name come came as a magnetiz magnetism and next uh, an asian times rocks containing magnets are called so in asian times rocks contain because of this rock we are dealing today the magnetism concept understand so that actually the name is what magnetite simply simply next uh, uh, one more question seventh question which of the following is a magnetic substance so which of the following is a magnetic substance actually this question is based on the uh, property of the magnetic material based on the property of the magnetic material this question they have given so which of the following is magnetic substance so first option is cobalt second option is glass third option is paper and uh, d is both and b and c so simply the simple answer is cobalt because glass and paper are diamagnetic material 
so generally the magnetic material classified into two types one is non magnetic material magnetic material and magnetic material even they divided as a three types dia para and ferromagnetic material so here dia means the materials which not affected by the magnetic fields are known as the diamagnetic materials para means the materials which are obeying the, uh, which are partially affected uh, by the magnetic um, magnetic fields is known as a um, paramagnetic material ferro means uh, i mean fully influenced by the magnetic fields are known as a ma ferro magnetic material so here this glass paper glass and paper are comes under diamagnetic material cobalt is a ferromagnetic material since uh, this is our answer next uh, the materials which are attracted by magnets and can easily converted into magnets are known as so here see this question also it belongs to the same same time so simple answer is magnetic materials magnetic materials we can make the make the as magnets as well as we can make the we can influence the magnetic material so so that uh, magnetic material is the answer next uh, uh, the materials which are not attracted by magnets are known as <laughs> this is also a very simple question and simple answer next answer b is the correct answer next uh, substances that are repelled by a magnet are called rare substances the substances repelled by a magnet are called rare substances simply dia magnetic materials so these are not affected by this sub magnetic materials since uh, dia magnetic material is the correct answer next substance that are weakly attracted by magnet are called weakly attracted are known nothing but magnetic paramagnetic materials same way substances that are strongly attracted by magnet are known as what kind of substances it is ferromagnetic substances the option c is correct understand similar way next uh, so here we completed up to we completed till we completed till <coughs> what calls uh, 12th question the substances which are attracted by magnets are called uh, ferromagnetic materials next uh, which of the following uh, which of the following is not magnetic material what the nickel cobalt this one it is a very very simple answer what what is a na, uh, not magnetic material and next which of the following is a magnetic material uh, plastic uh, wood copper iron so here iron is a magnetic material even copper is also metal and even iron also metal but copper is uh, not attracting to the not attracting to the magnet so that the copper is not our magnetic material and even plastic and wood also not magnetic materials and next uh, which of the following is not magnetic substance cobalt iron copper and nickel simply copper copper is a not magnetic material same way which of the following is a ferromagnetic substance platinum nickel gold and copper so here the very simple answer is nickel nickel is a very i mean powerful magnetic ferromagnetic material comparatively platinum gold and copper so these are the answers for the given situation i'll go for the next slide the next slide is <coughs> the 
let me share the next slide. So this is our next slide. Yeah. So second question: The Yenshatra magnet, where most of its magnet strength is located, are known as the ends of the magnets where most of its magnet strength is located are known as it is simply the strength of the total magnetic uh, magnetic material will be at uh, the poles at the poles the poles are slightly inside the bar magnet so inside the edge of the bar magnet so the our answer become our answer become what <coughs> pole strength <coughs> magnetic poles are known as a magnetic pole it is not pole strength it is ma uh, magnetic poles and next uh, the ends of a free suspended uh, magnet which points towards the geometric north line is called the ends of a freely suspended magnet which points toward the geometric north is known as south pole of south pole south pole the ends of a freely suspended magnet which points toward the geometric north is called as actually geometric north is are called as geometric north is called as a generally south pole because south and north will attract next uh, the ends of a freely suspended magnet which points toward the geometric south is called as a north pole of the magnet north pole of the magnet and next uh, similar poles of the bar magnet attract each other repel each other and next uh, neither attract nor repel each other none of the above so here uh, this is representing that a property of a magnetism so in the property of magnetism first property is what directive property it shows north and south and next property is what like poles attract and like poles repel and the third property is what every time it will it will be make as a made as a every time made as a poles so that is the three properties we have in the similar poles of the bar magnet always repels so this is a one of the property of the magnetism next one is the ability of a pole of a magnet to attract or repel another magnet pole is called what is that the ability of a pole of magnet to attract or repel another magnet pole is called pole strength magnetic induction magnetic strength magnetic pole so the ability of a pole of a magnet attracting is actually called a magnetic induction it is not pole strength ability of pole of a magnet so sorry this is not magnetic induction this is called pole strength so this is they are asking about strength of the pole kada right? so the uh, ability of the pole the ability of a pole magnet attract or repel another magnetic pole is known as a pole strength so this is what uh, pole strength next thing is and the next thing is uh, see next uh, this is completed pole strength is completed next one is the si unit of a pole strength is the si unit of a pole strength is ampere meter ampere meter is the si unit of pole strength next same way the general terms related to the magnetic pole next topic is the shortest distance joining the magnetic poles of a magnet is known as the shortest distance joining the magnetic poles of a magnet is known as the shortest distance between the joining the poles is known as a 
magnetic lens uh, that is nothing but uh, a that is nothing but a that is nothing but a next one the imaginary line joining the magnetic north and south pole of a bar magnet is also called the imaginary line joining the magnetic north south poles of the bar magnet is nothing but magnetic axis magnetic axis next thing is the line passing the line passing the center of the magnet and the perpendicular to the axis line is called the line passing through the center of magnet and perpendicular to the axial line is known as equatorial line this is the terminology of the magnetic material next one the distance between two ends of the magnet is called the distance between the two ends of magnet is called the geometric length of the bar magnet so this is how the uh, i mean this is how the questions and the next slide is the next slide is let me share the next slide this is your next slide so next slide is magnetic length here the magnetic length is magnetic length yeah next the magnetic length the magnetic length is always 5 by 6 into its geometric length so the first option is right the first option is right next one magnetic moment uh, inverse square law and magnetism so here the product of pole strength and the uh, and the magnetic length of the magnet is the product of pole strength and the magnetic length of a magnet is known as a uh, magnetic uh, moment so this is a first option see here capital m is equal to m into 2l so this is known as magnetic moment the si unit of magnetic moment is ampere meter square the si unit of magnetic moment is ampere square because see magnetic moment magnetic moment units are ampere meter then according to the formula for magnetic dipole magnetic dipole is equal to magnetic moment sorry magnetic moment is equal to uh, pole strength into length of the bar magnet pole strength uh, pole strength units are ampere meter pole strength units are ampere meter here length units are amp meter so finally ampere meter square is the units for uh, pole strength the next thing is uh, here odd man odd type questions in the following questions identify the different option from the other from other see here glass this is the 30th question glass paper plastic iron see here this iron is a a odd man odd because the glass paper and plastic all are diamagnetic material okay so when it is diamagnetic material those are non magnetic materials this iron is a magnetic material since uh, among the all this iron is a odd man odd 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 option so the uh, 38 is d next uh, nickel cobalt air and uh, gadolinium so in that which one is a uh, a different option so simply uh, we can say that a why we can say a is a different uh, different one because nickel cobalt uh, gadolinium is a i mean nickel cobalt gadolinium is a magnetic substances and a is a, a diamagnetic substances since uh, this a is a odd man out next uh, alcohol platinum gold and silver so here also this alcohol is a odd man odd, odd man type here because platinum gold silver 
are all are substances all are all are what we can say all are uh, solid states and here alcohol is a liquids one liquid one since alcohol is a oxide next mercury oxygen aluminum chromium mercury oxygen aluminum chromium which of the following is a odd name so here here uh, mercury oxygen aluminum chromium here this oxygen is a uh, oxygen is a odd name because oxygen is a gas type remaining all are aluminum chromium all are uh, solid states since uh, oxygen is our answer so this is the the i mean the options the questions we have this is actually total complete uh, work worksheet problems understand next let us discuss some other questions give a second to me <coughs> Yeah, see here. These are the questions. So the questions are, uh, as per the given figure, which will be the strongest uh, magnet? So as a given, as a given figure, which will be the strongest uh, magnet? Uh, magnet A, magnet B, magnet C, magnet D. Here, uh, look at the magnets here. So here, among the all, the magnet B. Magnet B is uh, attracting the magnet B is uh, attracting the attracting the male male very uh, powerfully so that B magnet is our answer. Next same way uh, state which of the following statement is false. State uh, which of the following statement is false. Paper a non magnetic substance can be moved without actually being touched by inducing electric charge in it paper is a non magnetic substances can be moved without actually being touched by inducing electric charge in it yes uh, this is a correct a magnetic substance can be moved without actually touching it yes we can do magnetic substance can also behave as magnets when they are in contact with magnet yes this is also correct magnet substance cannot move cannot be moved only magnets can be moved without being touched so this option is wrong so the this one is correct answer for this question next uh, when an iron bar is moved over a bar magnet along its length uh, the attractive force increases first uh, then decreases decreases first and then increases remains same and increases iron bar is moved over a bar magnet uh, it's uh, the length uh, along the length uh, the attractive force in decreases first then increases this would be the answer next which are the following property properties of magnets is are used to navigate so which are the following property are used to navigate so here uh, so here the thing is so the question is which are the following properties of magnet is are used to ident use it to navigation pair property law of magnet directional property attractive property so finally the answer is directive property is used for the navigation and next uh, one end of a bar magnet is uh, brought near the south of the freely suspended magnetic needle it's seen that south pole of the magnet needle gets repelled the polarity of the magnet of the bar magnet is so it seen that south pole of magnet needle gets repelled which means that that is also south pole understand next uh, the bar magnet ab is cut into pieces as ac and db the ends of c and d 
the ends of the end will be north south north south c south polarity d as a north polarity and uh, c is north polarity d as a south polarity see here when this is a north this is become south when this is a south this is become north that means uh, c is a south uh, d is a north polarity so that uh, the option c is your answer understand option c is your answer okay now so this is uh, and next uh, one more one more i'll share for you so this is your one more observe the picture a and b given in the figure carefully given observe the pictures a and b uh, in a carefully which of the following statement is correct for the above given pictures this is the question in a car a car 1 and 2 will come closer and uh, and b car 3 and 4 will come closer so here the question is this is south pole this is the this is the south pole this is the south pole this is the north pole so that uh, which one will come closer 1 and 2 come closer because these are opposite polarity they will attract and these will be repel so th these will be repel when these will be repel what will be they happen they move away from each other the a and 1 and 2 will come closer in so that in a car a and 2 will come closer this option is right in b car 3 and car 4 come closer this option become wrong this statement become wrong since uh, this option is not our answer similar way in car a car 1 car 2 will move away so this option is also not correct because these will not come closer same way in car and third option third option in in a car 1 car 2 will move away this is also wrong option and next uh, fourth option in a car 1 and car 2 will come closer this option is right and uh, in b car 3 and car 4 move each other so since uh, this b option is correct similar way similar way the magnetic length of the bar magnet is 15 centimeter then the geometric length is so here it is this question is relating to geometric length of the bar magnet and the magnetic length of the bar magnet see we have the relation between geometric length and the magnetic length the magnetic length of the bar magnet is 5 by 6 times of geometric length magnetic length uh, is equal to magnetic length is equal to uh, already they given magnetic length they are asking the geometric length uh, since uh, uh, 15 is equal to 5 by 6 into geometric length so geometric length is equal to 15 into 5 sorry 15 into 6 uh, by 5 5 1 the 5 3 the so geometric length of the bar magnet is 18 centimeters because 3 into 6 18 centimeters so which of the op which option is correct here the option a is the correct answer find the magnetic moment of a bar magnet if uh, find the magnetic moment of a bar magnet if its constant is a uh, 3 ampere 3 ampere meter 3 ampere meter when the poles are at a distance of 0.25 apart so this question also very very easy question this is uh, relating you this question is relating you magnetic momentum formula magnetic momentum is equal to magnetic momentum is equal to pole strength into 2L here 2L is a length of the bar magnet okay since uh, magnetic moment is equal to force strength is 30 ampere meter into length of the bar magnet is uh, 0.25 so which would be 
3 into 2.5 is equal to 7.5. So that is 7.5, 7.5 ampere meter square is our answer. So hint of this third option is correct. So this is how the questions will be. So for today, I will stop the session. In the coming class, I will explain another concept of the magnetism. So for today, I will stop the session. Bye.